all right so now in this one we are actually uh, handling this uh, checkout redirection okay so uh, now as you, as i said before uh, we are uh, already getting this uh, uh, next equal to uh, uh, cart and checkout okay this is actually uh, showing us because uh, we have actually put the uh, you know put uh, uh, the login required uh, decorator for this uh, for this checkout view right so that's why it is uh, 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 you know it is telling us next equal to cart and checkout okay so that's why but uh, by default it doesn't work it will it will just show you but it is our work to uh, make it work okay so now when i click on login this is ob obviously it is going to the dashboard because it is going to the dashboard it is because uh, we are actually uh you know in the views uh, dot pi accounts app so when we are logged in here okay or dot login messages dot success you are now logged in so here what we are doing we are so we are specifically redirecting the user to the dashboard here okay so this is the place where we want to handle this situation okay so in this case what we need to do we need to actually check if there is anything uh, with the next keyword okay so if there is anything like this next equal to uh, cart or checkout or something else okay maybe uh, other thing so uh, that time what we need to do we need to get the value of this and uh, accordingly we need to uh, say uh, you know redirect the user okay to that particular page okay so first of all uh, here what we will do uh, see there are different approaches to handle this situation but in this one we are actually implementing the request library okay so using this request library we will uh, uh, actually send uh, you know redirect the user user to the proper page okay uh, so first of all we need to uh, install this uh, uh, request library okay so let me stop the server and make sure you are inside the virtual environment and let me just say pip install requests okay there are other approaches also like you can use url parse or something else for this uh, uh, you know uh, to handle this situation but anyways i found this one uh, very easy and uh, you know helpful so that's why i'm going with this one okay pip install requests and uh, uh, let it install okay now you can see this this one is installed now so let me run the server again so once this is installed the second thing we need to do is we need to just uh, import it here okay let me just say import requests okay so now this is imported so we'll come back to this uh, this you know this uh, redirect a uh, code so here what i'll do uh, instead of this uh, uh, return redirect to the dashboard so what i'll do i will just say after this messages i will say url is equal to request dot meta dot get i will say http underscore referrer so what this http referrer will do is it will just uh, grab the previous uh, url from where you came okay so in in our case it is uh, uh, this one okay this whole url all right so it will store uh, store that url inside this url okay and this is not coming from the requests library okay because that is a request uh, requests okay so now this is just a get request all right so now you can see this is not requests okay it is just a singular request all right so now what we will do i will just say try uh, now i'll say query is equal to so now we are using a request library query is equal to requests dot utils dot url parse uh, and we will give this url to here and dot query okay so what this uh, this line of code will do we will just print it okay we will print a, a query what i'll do uh, just to uh, show you query okay we will print this now so we'll print this and uh, uh, let's just uh, go to here refresh uh, wait our server is okay return redirect dashboard so um, something is wrong right okay so this should be here all right so
okay with the uh, try block we should also uh, do accept in the accept let's just pass it for now okay okay now you can see uh, we have this uh, uh, like uh, we have this next equal to cart checkout when I log in now this has re redirected to the uh, dashboard but still we should get what the query is giving us see what the what this query gave us is next equal to cart uh, slash checkout okay so after this uh, question mark it gave us next equal equals cart slash checkout so it gave us like this okay so for that we use the query let me log out now let's continue uh, we will actually split this uh, equals part okay so now this is like uh, uh, like this no next equals cart slash checkout okay so now this is uh, like this query is like this so what we will do we will actually uh, take the query and uh, split this uh, equals part and all okay i'll say params is equal to uh, what i'll do i'll i have this code already i will copy and paste it here okay so this is actually uh, making this uh, uh, as a dictionary okay so next will be the key and this will this uh, cart checkout will be the value okay and with this uh, this uh, this x dot split is splitting the equals equal sign okay so now if you uh, if you print this one this params uh, now you will uh, properly understand what exactly it is now you see params and i'll print params we don't need okay let let it be here i'll just say print so that you will understand properly uh, i'll go to this and add one product checkout so now we have this next equal to card checkout login this is logged in now let's see in the console what we got now you can see query is this one okay so we got the uh, next equal to card checkout and the params uh, what this this code did is uh, this code actually uh, split this equal sign and made this next as a key and this uh, a card checkout as a value okay so we got this uh, we got this value now okay so what we need to do we need to actually uh, redirect the user to this part okay value of this next all right so now uh, what i'll do i'll uh, now i don't need this i i'll just get rid of this we have the params now so now i will say if next in params okay if we will see if uh, next keyword in, in next key in the uh, params we will now say next page is equal to params of next okay so now this will give us what we need okay now i'll say return redirect redirect to where next page okay we got the next page here we are putting it here okay redirect to next page and uh, here what uh, the next thing is uh, inside this like uh, the inside the accept block we will cut this and paste it here okay now this should work fine okay now i'll go to this page and i log out cart uh, you know uh, add the product to the cart now i go to the checkout when i'm logging in now so when i'm logged in then what should happen it, sh it should take me to the cart uh, and checkout page okay it should take me to the checkout page instead of the dashboard okay i'll say login and it took me to the uh, checkout page okay so this one also we should i, I think we sh we need to fix this one okay let's go ahead and fix that one okay because uh, we actually need to see all these things here okay uh, uh, this uh, all these um, uh, cart items uh, here okay so inside here we need to see so what i'll do i'll go to the checkout view in the carts and views we have this checkout view so in the cart we actually handled it for uh, uh you uh, authenticated user but uh, uh for this one we did not uh, do anything okay so what i will do i will copy this 
if uh, till here okay if request user is authenticated to uh, true uh, you know is active true i'll just cut it oh sorry not cut just copy it okay and here you remove this thing okay uh, yeah correct so uh, these two lines we don't need just paste it okay now now we sh now we refresh page we got all the cart items okay one 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 two so if you see here one 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 two okay proper all the quantities also coming okay so that's how it works okay so um anyways uh, it was like it took me a lot of time to uh, make this make all these uh, functionalities anyways uh, uh, this is what happens when we are when, when we are handling the product variations okay so if we had only only the products then it would have been done a uh, long back okay so now uh, we are actually properly uh, you know properly configured all these things all right so um uh, that's all for now uh, maybe in the next one we should go with the uh, with the with the you know place order okay so this place order okay first name all right so, so already we have already uh, set up this billing address form so what else remaining is we need to make a order and payment functions okay so we'll do that in the next one thank you